welcome to Live the Live and Love With You Lifestyle Self-Love Podcast. This podcast will inspire you, challenge you, and encourage you to venture into the art of evolving. Join me as we embark on the journey of self-love, learning how to fall in love with ourselves. My name is Liv, and I welcome you to the holistic approach to self-love. Talk to yourself the same way you would talk to anyone else. When was the last time you spoke to a best friend or a significant other? Those who you love, you speak to them often. But when was the last time you spoke to yourself? It is easy to forget about ourselves, to stop and pay attention to the person that's right in front of you, the one that looks at you on the other side of that mirror, when we are too busy worried about our past and our future. You will be amazed to hear what you have to say when you take the time to listen, to talk to yourself. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. This is what we'll be diving into today on our self-love journeys. I would like to introduce you to the idea of self-talk, something that is very crucial to our self-love journeys. Because you need to know who exactly you are loving here, and talking to yourself is an amazing way to figure that out. Your self-talk is essentially your thoughts, your inner thoughts, the way that you talk to yourself within these thoughts. These thoughts becomes your emotions which then translates into your behavior, how you act towards other people, but most importantly, how you act towards yourself. This then dictates your outcomes. This is a cycle that only you can control by what form of self-talk you are engaging in. Communication is key. It is what we use to learn about someone, to get to know someone, their hopes, their dreams, fears, and aspirations. It forms a strong bond between you and another person. You now trust each other. You now know each other. You have marked their words, which created an image of who they are. The very same can be done between you and yourself on your journey to self-love. Now that we know what self-talk is, let's dive deep into how it blends into our journeys. The saying goes, sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can never hurt you. The only exception to that rule is when the words are coming from yourself. Those are the strongest words because those are the ones that manifest into your life. These are the words that matter, the only words that will ever matter. The words that come from you, to you, by you. Within self-talk, there is negative self-talk, positive self-talk, as well as a neutral state. All three can affect our journeys in many different ways. This morning, while you were doing that one last check before you left the house, When you looked at yourself in the mirror, did you think, wow, I am beautiful and this is going to be a great day? Or did you ridicule yourself for being late? Or did you look at that ongoing insecurity and notice it all over again for the one millionth time with the same old upsetting mindset following up with a negative comment? Did you look at your appearance and figure it could be better? When you rose this morning, What was the first thought that came into your mind? Was it negative or was it positive? Or did you not feel anything at all? I ask these questions for you to be able to assess what form of self-talk you are engaging in. Negative self-talk is the worst of its kind. It could single-handedly diminish and chip away at your self-confidence and esteem if used daily. It can destroy all that you have created. It comes in a soothing, familiar voice one that poses no threat to you, so you allow it to continue. It is familiar and somewhat comforting, for it is the easiest self-talk to indulge in. You feel comfortable here. You have heard its words from many other mouths. Its negative statements almost seem normal. Its words are loud and can linger in the mind for months if it goes unnoticed. It can take the form of affirmations, something that you say almost every day. Usually, This negative self-talk comes into effect when comparison begins. This is when it likes to take its front row seat. As we do our daily scroll on Instagram to our daily stroll to work or school, it likes to present itself once you are surrounded by other people. Neutral self-talk, although it is silent, is just as damaging. At least in negative self-talk, you are talking to yourself. Yes, you are being disrespectful. Yes, you are being hard. But at least you are talking. In neutral self-talk, we are not talking at all. Neutral self-talk is passive. 
This form of self-talk will allow you to allow people to walk all over you. It is like walking through life with headphones on, blocking out the noise and the quiet just the same, putting your inner thoughts on mute. This shuts more than just the world out, it shuts you out. Neutral self-talk allows you to disassociate with everything that's going on around you. Opportunities where you could have protected, stood up, respected, comforted, loved, and supported yourself doesn't happen when neutral self-talk takes place. It's quiet and lonely. While your inner thoughts are engaging in this neutral state, where no words are being shared between you and yourself, you invite other people to do the talking for you, allowing other people to declare and define who you are, such as calling you ugly, not pretty, not interesting, not creative, and the list can go on. And without someone fighting for you in there, you even, for the slightest moment, begin to believe it. Because you are neutral to the situation, Like a sponge, you suck it all in. The hardest to achieve, but the strongest of them all is positive self-talk. These words are bold, italic, and underlined. It holds affirmations that only you can confirm. It forms bonds that you and yourself can share. Imagine if every day you keep running into the same person. It also seems as if you tend to bump into them the moment you need a little pick-me-up. Every day, they tell you how beautiful you are, how amazing, interesting, and unique you are, how every flaw they consider to be gorgeous. They shower you with praise and love. You see this person every single day. Wouldn't you love this person? Or better yet, wouldn't you fall in love with this person? Well, this is how we fall in love with ourselves, for you will be that person that you meet every single day. Those words and those thoughts All of that praise is loud and it echoes within your mind and is always there to protect you when someone tries to threaten your self-love. Imagine if you were to see this person every single day receiving this message daily from yourself to yourself by yourself. Imagine the person you would be all the things you can accomplish just by talking to yourself. I will admit it is not easy. Just like any situation, it is hard to stay positive when faced with negativity. I speak from experience. Negative self-talk likes to remind you of why you're not happy and replay all of the series of unfortunate events that brought you to where you are now and why you are here now. I've experienced negative self-talk after I've gotten my heart broken for the first time. I was shocked when I heard the news for I thought I was in love and I thought I was loved. The rush of negative self-talk came like a 10-foot wave with thoughts and feelings such as, you're so stupid. How did you not see this coming? What does she has that you don't? This is all your fault. You just aren't good enough. You got played. Maybe if you wore your hair the way everybody else did. Maybe if you said yes more often. Maybe if you gave him what he wanted. Why couldn't I make him stay? Why couldn't I make him want me? Your self-talk determines your self-worth. At the time, I felt as if I was worth nothing. Not love, not care, not nothing. I was so stupid. The neutral self-talk that I experienced went on for much longer. Growing up as a dark-skinned child, it wasn't easy finding beauty within yourself when you were being bullied for something that you cannot change. I got words thrown at me like bricks, such as tar, charcoal, dirt, and anything that they could attribute to dark and ugly, for that is what they believed me to be. My neutral self-talk never defended my inner self-esteem or sanity. And over time, such are the laws of repetitiveness. At one point, I actually believed them. I started believing what they declared me to be. But then I would go home and as I continued to grow into the woman that you were listening to today, my positive self-talk has came in and taken over. With its underlined and bold font, it has overwritten the other forms of self-talk. It took me a while to get here, where these are the only words that are allowed within the conversations with myself. I have created a space where no negative thoughts are allowed to control of my mind and my thoughts. Having these daily positive self-talk conversations with myself has helped me come into myself. It has helped me fully bloom. I have asked myself who I am, who I'm not, and 
who I want to be, using the answers to flourish into the person you see here today and the person that I will become. I am confident with who I am because I know who that person is. I am not afraid of silence because I am no longer afraid of my own thoughts. Instead, this silence gives me the platform to engage in self-talk, where I can talk to myself and ask myself, what's wrong? How am I feeling today? How can I be a better version of myself? I have opened that secure space within myself where I am not afraid to ask or answer these questions. To close, I leave you with this question. What would you ask yourself if you were not afraid to hear the honest answer? What is one thing that you would do if you stopped telling yourself that you can't do it? Imagine all that we could be and all that we can do if we stop bringing ourselves down and start believing in our abilities. Be mindful of what you are telling yourself because you are always listening. Thank you for listening to Live the Live and Love With You Lifestyle Self-Love Podcast, the podcast that will inspire, challenge, and encourage you to venture into the art of evolving, falling in love with yourself. My name is Liv, and I hope to see you every Sunday to live in love with you.